Microphone check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Yeah. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. You see how long it took me to get there? <laughs> You've seen how long it took me to get there. Yeah. yeah episode t- 25. Episode 25 is in full effect. The Which Gemini Scorpio no. podcast is here. We're here, consistent and committed. Mm-hmm. Pre- yeah. Hurt. We had to go a break from last week, not intentionally. It we was, was Mother's Day. Yeah, and also we had some te- technical difficulties. We tried to record when we was in North oh, Carolina, yeah, yeah. but um, the cord broke for the mic, so yeah. yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. Well, cheers to episode 25. Cheers to episode 25. We keep doing this motherfucker, bringing you what you want, you heard. Um, you know, and I'm all about celebrating all small, big, any progression win. That is who I am, I love. Every bit of progression, and I just want to say that 25 is really reflective because... I mean, even when I turned 25, even when I turned 25, that was a big year. So we're going to treat this same exact episode the same way. We celebrate 25. Episode 25. Look at little cake. Little cake. Little cake. This is all I could get because, you know, the grocery stores is bare. Okay. And I wasn't about to spend $200 on a cake because somebody's birthday is in two weeks. So this is the best we can do. It's a little $7.99 cake, a little $2.99. 299 candle, you know what I'm saying? So what I I'm gonna eat that part right there. You better cut that right there, cause Corona. I seen what you did. You licked your finger and don't touch me with that finger. All right. So, period. So what I wanna do is um when we make a wish, I do want us to make a wish on the podcast. That's so nasty. It was this thing. All right. <laughs> So, you know, I definitely want us to just put out there our intentions for the podcast. You know, we made it 25. Of course, you know, God willing, we can make it to 2,500. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? 250. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to put the intentions out there, what to expect with the Gemini Scorpio podcast. We expect to continuously give it our all and do whatever we can to better it along the way. So come on, babe. Let's make a miss. We're going to put this out to the universe. We thank and show so much gratitude for the team, mm. for everybody who's been a part of the journey, who's been watching, supporting. We thank you so very much. So come on, episode 21. Okay. One, two, three, four. Make a wish. Come on. He literally I'm left really one. <laughs> he he, he literally love. left That's one. Love, though, right? <laughs> How you just blooded out would have been. You know, I'm sloppy with the mouth. <laughs> Whole shit would have been gone. All right, come on. I'm going to do my... sloppy with the mouth? Come on, I'm going to do my wish. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was really saying a prayer over oh, my you, kids. I was wishing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he already blew his out. You know what I'm saying? I thought he said his all fast. I was wishing on love on the podcast, you know, that we become bigger than the Joe Biden podcast. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying Joe Biden no drop no names. We love their podcast. But, you know, to be in the top three podcast, period. You mm. know, that's where we aiming for. So now you can lick it, baby. Mm. One hundred fork or nothing? Oh, you want to try it right now? No, mm-hmm. I thought we was going like, you know, we don't got there. Fuck it. <laughs> That's my side. That's your side. Where you lick my lick. All right. And you that's Alex's side. And Monique. and Monique's side. All right, bet. You know. Uh, I know somebody that's not going to be happy with that division right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I know, add I'm, that slice. I'm gonna give, that's Amaya's side right here. Amaya's side right here. Yeah, you're absolutely. Good call, Alex. Because she would have came in here like, no cake for me. Like, I was here in the room listening to the podcast all 25 episodes, too. All right, come on. Let's get into the podcast. How was your Mother's Day, man? Um, I had a great Mother's Day, you know what I'm saying? I got some gifts I really, really wanted, such as a desk and a coffee maker. So I was really, really excited. We also went down to North Carolina to see Jay's mom. And it was just a vibe just to be able to get away since we've been quarantined in and having to be in the house. Little road trips are okay. I still recommend staying your family circle do not you know be out there still social distant like but you know a road trip is a great idea like great idea when i came back you know what i'm saying I, i've done a few things that i really just enjoy doing i've been working out outside you know shout out to me he been working out you know what i'm saying also sat outside for a picnic with my girl so like just all type of outside road trip you know it could be social distance like but just do something get your son Get your son. Yeah, yeah. How was y'all Mother's Day weekend? How was y'all week so far? Alex, Monique, how was what was what was happening? Uh Mother's Day was lit. 
uh, my mom, who is also a Scorpio, you know, she. Uh, mm. <laughs> We She's all, a great woman. I like yeah, no, 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 no. Nah. This week, on. I ain't gonna lie. My Dukes, this week was. I share that story for another day, but why, why you want to share had, for another? Day? You we had a day. real heart to heart because me and my mother growing up, we had some differences because she's very strict. And I'm somebody mm-hmm. that I have a problem with authority, period. It started, mm-hmm. like, forever. So, like, we really had a conversation of accepting differences and, oh, like, really that. having a conversation of, like, who I am as a, mm-hmm. as, a pers- as a child and, like, what she wants. I love me. that. Yeah, so it, it was a real heart-to-heart. But then on Sunday, y'all, uh, we all <laughs> swore and prayed for all of us for, like, an hour, man. Aww. After the gifts and all that, we just sat there and she just prayed over all of us. Amazing. And That's we dope. ate fish. And that's what I, you love want. I, I love fish. fish but I love fish. Yeah, that was it. Fried fish, snapper fish, Esca Beach fish, brown stew fish. Really you know. Monique, your week was good? Yeah, mine was good. It's good? Um, yeah, it was good. <laughs> all right, Monique all right, said all right, her week right. was good. All right, man. Uh, my Mother's Day week was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like she said, we went to North Carolina. I had a cookout for my mom's. You and said cool. It was good. No? Okay, I am talking about we had a great week. He's like, it was cool. It was cool. It was good. It was special. I went, we on all the way to North Carolina. I thought I had a cookout for my mother and Sade. And it was great. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Good. And I started working. So my week was special because I did start working out. You know what I'm saying? Started running. I, well, I start, I've been started running. But I, uh, we got back on Tuesday and you I picked kept. picked it up consistently. Yeah, I kept, I didn't stop. You know what I'm saying? I think I hit, I hit like. I don't know if it was like 15, like 13 miles this last week. Come on, Maybe 13, exercise. 14, or 15, something like that. And I was uh, working out, you know what I'm saying? It was a great weekend, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was pretty good. Yeah. Last day was dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty much it. Let's get into this podcast. All right, boom. So that's... Yeah. Right. Sade, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I feel like we just brushed a... We just Brush, reflected. We reflected, to, but it was so fast. To. Like, what about you? What about you? What about you? Okay, bet. What's the podcast? I don't like that. Well, um, she don't ever like nothing. She, it's it's cool. I don't like that. All right, come on. Okay, so <laughs> I told you. I ain't Dark. even saying I ain't like that. I just didn't understand it. Dark, <laughs> like, darkness. That's Jay will plant me as anything he can on whatever given day. Okay, he he's really the one with the did, problem all the time. Did you like but, Peter's new album, Shade? Did you listen to Future's No, album? you want to know what's crazy? Wow. Um, I listened to it. I wasn't a fan of it. And I'm a Future fan. I ain't, I, I ain't really I ain't really like it. And you know it's crazy? I thought he I thought he really floated on his feature on Lil Baby album and that's like one of my songs. But then I was expecting his album and I don't know. It just wasn't like I just tried to listen to it straight through yesterday. It wasn't giving me the vibes I wanted. Like, I don't know what it was. Like, I just wasn't feeling it like that. I thought Scorpio was supposed to stick together. Y'all are yeah, cult. I, mean, I, I heard, I heard that a group of Scorpios and, meeting no, together hold on, hold on. are cult. Women and men Scorpios do not get along. So don't ever fucking <laughs> get it fucking twisted. It's women Scorpios. As the feminine ruler, we are the one. Male Scorpios, which I attest that I know a lot of females who agree are trash. We don't. We're like... A separate entity. We don't like to be like concluded as one, just to say. Wow. But and I'm sure a lot of Scorpios will agree with that because I already. Well, know shout out to all my do. Gemini's because we just <laughs> we fuck with each other. I was like if, say, Jay, if we don't understand, listen. If if, if if nobody understands Gemini's, we here with each. Like I feel like I don't think I always all Gemini's like we just all had that click. Like it's like. It's like being in a fraternity or something. You see somebody at Gemini, it's like, yo, you're a Gemini? All a Gemini. Hey, thank you, Monique. What did you say Monique said? Because, yeah, all of y'all are nuts. Then you heard it? Yeah, Monique said, just for the record, Monique said, yeah, because all of y'all are nuts. Whatever it is, we right. fucking stick together. Because we be like, it. yo, Gemini, Gemini, gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Like, gang, gang. That's how I be like, yo, you're Gemini? Gang. Oh, I'm a Gemini. I knew I fuck with you for a reason. Scorpio's divided. My best friend is a Gemini. I don't know if she'll agree with that. Just saying. <laughs> what, what, you, what? Anyway, so let's what, what get this potting story. No, I said I don't know if she'll agree with that. Call her right now. <laughs> no. Can I get a fork, please? We're not going to do that. Right now. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're not about to call Kayla. She not be and be prepared, and so she might say something that you ain't ready to hear. So, um, <laughs> we'll wait for Jay's fork, though. 
This cake better be good because I don't even know the you. flavor. Stop rushing through the podcast. Take your time. Relax. You keep just go ahead. Go ahead. Pod. I like, mean, that's how we usually do it. We, no, we I normally it, let off and podcast. I reflect and I float and I'm a flow into it. Bro, flowy. You get what I'm saying? Like my flowy snakeskin dress. Flowy. You feel me? Money, he keep brushing me through the podcast. I'm trying to have a little time. Yeah, thank you. Mm, let's see what flavor this is. I ain't even look. What? This is the only confetti cake I've seen. Oh, it's yellow cake. This is buttercream. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. God, damn. I'm sorry, y'all. I thought this would be the 25th cake. <laughs> I was going to get a strawberry shortcake. I should have got it, but I was like, I don't know where we're going to stick the candles because all the strawberries and the puree was on top. The cake bad. is good, but it's just a lot it's of frosting. It's a frosting. Yeah, it's a lot of frosting. God damn. Yeah, but I'm done because <laughs> it's like, I've, been like following, I've been following God damn. my protocol because I'm training. Big keys. And I've been doing good. So that's all the cake I'm going to eat. See you there? So now we can get on with potting. As you can see, I'm feeling a little empty, so just follow me because my brains might not work because I don't have no hookah. So I might be a little brain dead. I don't know. I don't have no smoke, nothing to blow when I get a thought. No inhale, exhaling on the annoyances. And, you know, no catch 22. So I'm really feeling empty. There's no fucking coals, and I'm fucking irritated because I don't have no hookah. <clears throat> Jay also bought, broke the bottle of liquor yesterday on the way into the house. Whole fresh new bottle of liquor. So I had no liquor, no hookah. I got a little wine here, a little bit of wine. But that's all we got. And a little margarita mix. Little, little mini margarita mix. Yeah, that I didn't want to share that Jay voluntarily put in both of our cups, even though I wanted to drink that by itself. So can I, I could drink the wine by itself so that I could, you know, but whatever. We share around here. So, period. So, segment one with Shelly talking points. So, boom. So, the. <laughs> so, is yummy? Oh, you was fucking that cake up. Okay, so my question today is, all right, are you supposed to do everything with your partner? If if not, what things are a must and are not required? Hmm? Okay. Ask that question again. Are you supposed to do everything with your partner? If not, what things are a must and are not required? Required because I feel like Alex is missing a word right there. Because <laughs> I'm gonna just say required to do with your partner. What do you think about that? Absolutely not. I'm not supposed to do everything. Like right. God, get some space. Like right. you know what I'm saying, like some fucking space, do outer your... space, nigga, Nassau. Like do your thing. Let me do my thing. We come back and we do right. our thing. You don't gotta do everything. Is our thing. Like you got things that's yours. I got things that's what mine. What are some What are some definites that you have to do? Like nah, if I'm with my girl, she gotta do this with me. Fuck. Have sex. Okay, outside of having sex, because clearly that takes a union. But things that don't require union, but like you might like, nah, if my girl don't do this with me, I don't know. That's a dub. Uh, tell me secrets. That's not even an activity. <laughs> I mean, that's like, that's it. That's the only thing I can think of that's required. Like, nothing. I'm, I'm, okay, so long story short, we're. Are you talking about like going to the gym, going to church? Get yeah, activities. It's just like in general, like things that. No. What is no to what? What are you talking about? Like, what is he saying? I'm saying it's not required. Nothing's required. Nothing's off limits. I mean, not really. How do you feel about going to church with your partner? I mean, if we believe in the same thing, and I'm not already going to a church, it's sure, to why make not? This segment boring. I'm t- this is my my opinion. Okay, is there anything that I don't do with you that you would like me to do with you? Besides, listen. What? <laughs> All right, see what type of podcast we getting into today. <laughs> I can see it. I'm being very honest and transparent. Yeah. No. Listen to what. Per se, Jay. All right, so for example, this is how it would go. If I didn't think like this, right? If I had my own church and Sade had her own church, we would go to Sade's church because that's just what she want to do. If I had my own gym, Sade had her own gym, we would, of course, go to Sade's gym. Uh, Just recently, Sade got a trainer because she got a trainer. That's it. We're going to leave it at that. 
She got a trainer. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. She got a trainer. That's good. You're doing great. I know. I'm doing fantastic. Toast. But nah, so, honestly, like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, th- like, I just feel like if you have those other expectations, you're just going to be in a, in a world of trouble, man. Like, Jay is so full of shit, boy, how? I swear to God, because Jay be acting like he don't get an attitude when I do things <clears throat> without him. Niggas love acting like they don't care when you do stuff without them, but because they don't have the balls to just be like, I really just want you to do that with me, they don't say it, but then... Will have a little stink ass attitude when you don't do stuff with them. So the question really like is again, so like, like a lot of things. When I go hang out with my friends without you, sometimes you'll have a little attitude. Uh, because we gonna talk about it for real. I don't care. I thought because when we moved out of Baltimore, I, it was for the understanding of us getting away from Baltimore, and then Shade just all of a sudden goes to Baltimore every other day. So of course I go I'm there like, every other day. The? No, be honest. I go all there right. every. No, no, no. Because since we're talking about it, be not very every, uh, specific so the people can make not, their own analogy. Not Jay's analogy, their own analogy. Not do every, I go over there every day, every other day? I'm trying to answer. Okay, not okay. every other day, but you go more than, than you. Yeah. Okay. And I feel like yes, and, Alex. And, and I feel like well, okay. before we before we moved, it was like it was so unfair because all her friends was on the other side and when mm-hmm. I say the other side it's like PG and all that and all mm-hmm. that and I'm not saying that I Montgomery we already had County, this, Montgomery are, County let me shine light on Montgomery County because it's already, not PG County my friends are in Montgomery County okay. I know they just got their little show where well, we gonna put some respect on my friends right. they're in Montgomery County so we gonna I'm, we already had this conversation so I already I'm understanding Same however when we when we had the conversation she was like it's not fair because we got one car all her friends are on the other side the other side of Baltimore and it's just not fair okay cool we moved outside. We moved out of Baltimore, and I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm not gonna go to Baltimore as much. You know what I'm saying? I rarely go to Baltimore at all. And here comes Sade going to Baltimore, and I'm just like, so should I, got I never go to bag. Baltimore? No, I'm just, I'm not. I mean, again, we first got all, over it, but at, okay, at first, yeah, at first, finish. yeah, I was kind of like, uh, not at first, because still, no, not no more, okay. no, no. Yes, he do. So long story short, I know Jay keeps saying like we moved out of Baltimore so you could be closer to your friends. That's not the only reason why. The other reason the why, reason why yeah. exactly, you didn't say those parts. And it makes a big difference when you're talking about this story. Another part of it is because I work in D.C. So, of course, my commute was over an hour and a fucking half long to and from. So, yeah, that was a lot. And also, I didn't want my daughter to go to a school in Baltimore. So that is why. And I'm also not from Baltimore. So, of course, I want to live my way and where I'm from and, you know, live on my side of town. That's what I wanted to do. I still have a friend in Baltimore that I go pull up on maybe once a week. And okay, like I'm not there every day and I'm not frolicking in the streets of Baltimore and I'm not in the clubs of Baltimore and I'm not at the bars in Baltimore. I'm at my friend. Nothing is open. And even if, if it, it was, was open, you probably no, would be. No, if it was, my friend loves DC. We'd be in DC. Period. We wouldn't be in Baltimore. And you know that Y'all because still she used can to be come. In DC. And she knows that because my friend used to come all the time to come pull up on us in DC. But because quarantine and she used to come see us so much, I'm like, let me go see my friend since she can't doesn't have anything really to do. She used to come over our house all the time. So I'm like, let me pull up on my friend. It's my turn to do my due diligence as a friend. It doesn't have anything to do with us moving. It doesn't have anything to do with, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. It's just the real factor is I'm returning my favor as a good friend. So my friend doesn't always have to make the trip out here. I go see her sometimes. That's very Long story good. short. So all that to say, but it doesn't defeat the point that he wants to say it's just because I'm going to Baltimore. No, JB having an attitude when I don't invite him to do stuff. No, like even He's like with lie. the trainer thing, right? For example, like... Go ahead. Alex had a we question were... before you go on today. Go, yeah, because, I mean, mm-hmm. can y'all go see a movie without each other? Absolutely. We better be able to. <laughs> She says that, but let me see a movie. She might. Like, that y'all want to go see. It, let her. Let me. Oh, go that see. we want to. Okay, so like, that a movie that, that we want to see, like together. Like if he be like, bad damn, I, like if we see a trailer, like two months before the movie come out, I was like, damn, I want to go see that. Damn, I want to go see that. I want to go see that too. And he knows I want to go see it. Yeah, I'm gonna expect like motherfucker make a date night so we could go. If he go sees it with his friends without me, and I didn't make like if like if it was like oh, I'm about to just go see my see this movie with my friends and it wasn't like bay like I think my friends are gonna see this movie. I want to go. We ain't really have a date, so I'm gonna just go. It just depends how it's presented. Because if he goes sees it without talking to me or whatever, knowing I want to go see it and just like I'm just going with my man's. I'm like, damn, nigga, you know I wanted to see the fucking movie. 
You could have came and told me, let's have a date night. But ultimately, if it's like a guy movie, like if it's a movie and him and his niggas want to see something I don't care about, go see that shit. Because I don't want to see it. It got to be it. something that she don't care about. You no, see I'm not saying it has to be that way. I gave you the scenario of the other way. Like, if it, uh, again, it's all in the way it was presented. Now, if you came to me and you was just like, I know you want to see that, but my niggas is about to go today. And they asked me if I want to go. I'm like, all right, go. I'll just go. Now I have time to orchestrate. Like, now I know. I'm like, all right, I'll just go see it with my girl. But if you just like... Don't say nothing. I'm about to just go. I'm going to the movies, like, and you don't care the fact that I wanted to see it and that we could have. It could have been an opportunity for a date night, like, or say you just completely free, and instead of asking me to go see the movie, you ask your niggas. Yeah, I think any girl would be offended. Like, you're completely free. You ain't got shit to do, and it's like I think I want to go see a movie. Let me call Marcus, and I'm sitting right there. Of course, I'd be offended. Of course, of course. Yeah. And you keep, you keep, you feeling away Cause you keep coming over here. Cause that's how you would need it. That's how you would need it. You feeling away? You said what? You keep like, cause if it ain't Sade's church, if it ain't Sade's gym, if it ain't Sade's way, you keep coming on here with that energy. Just, What's, you feel away? Man, I, my, my truth. Oh. Like, I was, oh, I was, so I was if I get to speak in my truth, we, okay. You can speak in truth. Well, yeah, because I was like, Jay is very self-centered I, since we speak in truth. I, I, that's one thing I'm not. Mm. That's not even true. Not nowhere okay. near truth. Jay. Boy, how? Don't get me Go ahead, get Cause he's it. very self-centered. Get like, your bag. Go ahead. yeah, he's very self-centered. How? You are. If our world has to revolve around you, that doesn't. No, that's yes, not true. Does. No, it's not. Yes, it does. That's just the part that people don't know, but it does. Shade. Cause we also moved with Jay. Won't say we also moved over here, so Jay can have opportunity in DC. If that wasn't the factor, he would say he said it even when we first got together. Like, look, if a girl, if I'm moving in with a girl, you got to move over here. I'm not moving in with you. I'm not coming over over here with you. Yeah. He made that clear. If Jay did not want to go to DC, we would not be in DC. We would be in Baltimore. Yeah, right that's, along. that's true. No, that's I'm not saying Okay, that's but true. it's a lot of things that run that way though. No, I'm not, but that's I don't think that's being okay. self centered though. Okay, what is it? I think that's having like your own I don't want to say standard, but that's what's the fucking word? Like you you have your boundaries. And you set your own boundaries. So why I'm can't staring, these be my standards no, and wait, not? Uh, I never, wait, I never said that. Not uh, Shade's way. Why can't they just be my standards I, I, and my boundaries? I, I, I never said that, that. That couldn't though. Okay. I just said that was my truth. But I never okay. said you were self-centered though. Uh-huh. So you see the difference in that? But I never, to me, to me, I think it's a little self-centered because it doesn't hold the other person into a big consideration. I'm very considerate though. It's just sometimes, I have sometimes. boundaries that. I Sometimes. don't cross for nobody. So it's like if I if I have a boundary that I'm not going to go for, like for example, I don't know. It's, it's things that I just wouldn't do. Like I would never have. I would never be on no gay shit. Point blank. Period. It ain't convincing me. You know what I'm saying? So like yeah, that ain't selfish. It's not self centered. Again, mm-hmm. if if I if I didn't want to move to hypothetically DC and I have a legitimate reason. I'm not but moving to DC, but know, that don't mean that I'm not willing to move somewhere know, else. We wouldn't have moved if it was just my job being the preference. If it was just my job and I'm so you're paying talk- too much money to get to work every day and I'm That's going at an hour and 30, it wouldn't have just been on that accord. It would have also been in the factor where if you really didn't want to move, it was like, it would have been like, mm, well, well, look, we'll just have to figure out another but way or get a job in Baltimore. Because at first it was try to get a job in Baltimore. I mean, I no, I, no, no, it wasn't. I said you should okay. try to get a job in Baltimore. It would make it better, easier. Okay. But again, I didn't want to move in here. You know mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. So you can't say like that's I don't think that, that was counts. just my boundary and my standard. No, but and and so if I was selfish, I don't think I would have moved. I didn't want to move in here, but I did to be considerate. And uh, but I'm not talking about every single thing. But there is times that you are. Oh, oh yeah, I feel like every, that's not, that doesn't count because everybody but, but is so times where everybody then, then is self centered. All right, so when I say don't say no, I'm not. But you, that's not. I don't think no, you I'm put not. that on somebody to say I they're self centered because they have. Okay, Jay is self centered to me at times. Okay. There you go. Fair. I'll take that. Okay. Like, but so back to my topic because we're getting too far off the plank. I was here. going into something, but I, I couldn't. Oh, well, go ahead. Finish. Wait, fine, go ahead. No, you could have. No, because I, I just I'm gave not, you the opportunity. I don't want to be self-centered. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Talk I'm about joking, it. I'm joking. No, go ahead. I'm joking. I'm joking. Go I'm, ahead. Wait. Right? No worries. I'm, I'm joking. Take your time. I'm joking. I'm joking. Let's not waste no time. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm joking. Come on. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> come on, babe. I was joking. You gonna run out? The, the, the cameras gonna run out. They ran out before. But we don't have an extra one to switch, babe. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me put my wine. Mm, pour me some, hmm. No, here you go. You can pour your own, because I am, yeah. <sighs> here we go. Y'all know the vibes. So long story short, like, I got this conversation basically because, you know, um, there was a few things. Like, you know, first of all, me and Jay are working out, but we are also working out separately. And I had I got asked a question when I was talking to one of my friends, like, why are you guys working out separately and just not Ooh. together since it's the same? I know the answer to that. Since it's the same, since you guys are both trying to work out. What's the answer? Sorry. 
No, you know the answer. Go ahead. Not for real. So yeah. I'm say real. Yeah. I think the answer is Shade wants to um, you know, I'm gonna get away from my feelings and I'm gonna be real. Shade wants to be held more accountable for working out, and she feel like if she pays, then that would make her have to work out more. And respect. I just don't think like that. And I, but that's okay. You see how I, I was very transparent. So what's the part where you the feelings? What's your feelings? So concept? for okay. me, honestly, because that's not me, like I don't feel like if, if if I'm your man and I was running every day before, you know what I'm saying? She decided to get a trainer and I would try to push her, but it wasn't like the it wasn't like put on the front fourth, you know what I'm saying? And again, that's what I'm saying, being transparent, I understand. She's like, all right, well, she she acknowledged that it wasn't. And her acknowledging is like, you know what? This I'm gonna go the extra step and I'm gonna pay for a trainer so I can be more accountable for me. It's like, why the fuck would you have to pay extra money that's taking out your pockets or shit like our pockets to get a trainer when you got somebody that's working out every day and that can help you? But it's like it's like when we was doing like when we was doing it, it's just I feel like the dynamic is different. That's why I was saying that I don't think couples have to do everything because the dynamic is different. When we run, I remember one time she was like, "You want me to run?" And I have I never even mentioned this. She was like, "You want me to run?" The, to your speed, and the first thing I thought to mind is like, yo, like, no, I'm just pushing you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to, like, snap back all the time. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like because that's the, and I think I was talking about earlier because that's the dynamic of us being boyfriend and girlfriend. You feel comfortable doing that, and there's nothing wrong with that because that's just the dynamic of a, a boyfriend and a girlfriend. However, if you have a trainer and your trainer is pushing you, you understand that that's your trainer. That's what he's getting. That's his job. You know what I'm saying? You, you probably won't react the same way, and that's why I was like, to be understand, to be honest, just to be. Transparent, I understand why she got a trainer. I ain't mad, you know what I'm saying? But because I don't agree, the first thing that clicked in my mind was like, the fuck you about to spend this much money on money? And that don't make no sense. But you know what I'm saying? Fair me is like, no, nah, it makes sense. And I definitely shot you out and I encourage you and I support your decision because you definitely held yourself accountable and you did. You, at the end of the day, you did what you had to do to get it done. And I fuck with that. So shout out to that. Shout out to you. Thank you. I'm going to drink to that. <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, so all in all, like, you know, my friend asked me that and, um, you know, and it was a, a thing that dawned on me because I think that a lot of people might think like that. Like if I'm going to work out, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and my boyfriend works out, then I might as well work out with him. Or if my girl is like into like yoga and I need a stretch then I might as well, you know, stretch with my girl, like whatever that was just trying to put it in aspects but again i still think that as individuals we have our own needs and which is why i thought the conversation was appropriate because as individuals when you need something and say you want your partner of course to be your all your things of that you shouldn't settle you know what i mean just because you want to do it with your partner and i say that because like you know like in the in, in past lives of myself like i did a lot of settling you know what I'm saying? Just off some real shit. I did a lot of settling um, that I shouldn't have because I was waiting for a partner or waiting for a friend or whatever. And I think that that shouldn't be it. And I remember like one day, like, you know, Jay, some of the times he was running was during my work hours. And I could like some days I was able to do it. Some days I just knew I couldn't do it because I was getting phone calls that I just couldn't miss. You know, and he wanted to do it that time. And um, he said, like, you know, what I'm saying I want to go run with you, but like I'm trying to stay consistent, whatever. And I was like, you know, you could do that. Go stay consistent. You know, what I'm saying don't stop. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm working and it slows you up and you don't want to go after four or you don't want to do what you do, but I can't always go in those hours, whatever. So, you know, getting a trainer, like I said, like Jay was hit the nose where it was like, I got a trainer because I needed to hold myself accountable. Um, and I needed to make sure that one, I ain't about to try to waste my own damn money. So like, if I'm, you know what I'm saying? I pay for something, I'm gonna get the shit done. Like, you know what I'm saying? If not, I'm just a complete jackass to lose your money over something you pay for. Cause just a little secret, not a secret, but something dumb I did do like, boom, I seen these IG trainers going up, whatever. And they just kind of put out a book <laughs> to like, go like, here are the steps. I, my dumb ass bought the book and never use it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was really stupid of me, but I knew that. <laughs> I needed a person. Hmm? I knew that I needed a person in person. I already knew that, you know, but you know, we're on quarantine. I think I could do everything. I was already YouTube. You told me about book? Yes, I told you about this. I literally told you about this. I told you I purchased the book for $30. Never even used the shit. I tried. No, I did use it like twice, but I never finished it. And you know, cause at that time I thought I could be accountable with myself. Cause I was like, boom, I'm at home working out. I would put on YouTube videos. 
to try to work out, you know what I'm saying? I would do it. I would complete it, but I wasn't consistent because I didn't have to show up. Like I didn't, like there was days if I didn't show up, whatever. But when I have a trainer, if because I already paid, I committed to these days, you better show up. One, because they can also forfeit the money because like they don't have time to be playing with my own damn schedule. So it's no different than a job for me and them. Like I paid you to do the job, but I kind of come up and show the job or guess what? I lose the money. You know what I'm saying? I don't get the payback, which is the result. Like, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, another part of it was just that, you know, Jay runs, but I felt like there was things that my body needed that like um, I kept, I, I, and to myself, I felt like I was saying out loud, but you know what I'm saying? I also, you know, I don't think, it wasn't for Jay to be like, babe, I could do this. But if he could, uh, you know what I'm saying? That would have been thing. But I thought my body needed things that a gymnast and a nutritionist that's studying those things that could give me. You know what I'm saying? And Jay's not a nutritionist. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's not, like, yeah, he be fit. He play football. Like, you know, he could run. He got stamina. But I feel like a routine at that time, I just felt like Jay couldn't get me. So I needed somebody who had the routine down that could, like, no, well, look, this is a job. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he is right on that aspect. And um, at first, I remember, like, when my friend asked me, I thought I was like, I mean, does everybody think you're supposed to do everything with your partner? Like, okay, yeah, we work out separately. He work out with, you know what I'm saying, his boys, that they're good at working out. That's what they do. I work out with a trainer. You know what I'm saying? And I also give think that's additional time for us to blow off our own steam, to release our own, you know what I mean, energies and to you know get our own selves together and then we can come back like you know what i'm saying of course now i'm not talking about those who deal with you know trainer bays and boyfriends or girlfriends you know what i'm saying it's different because yeah if jay was a trainer i'd be stupid to go to somebody mm-hmm. else unless i felt like we just didn't work in that area but not, not even that if you don't mind so what i was going to say is on top of that right there's a lot of pressure you putting on your partner for example like your partner shouldn't be your therapist right Right, like you shouldn't like a lot of times we put extra pressure on our on Mm -hmm. ourselves because we want our partner to be everything and even when she brought up the like running situation like i told her that i would run twice however i needed that extra time to run because it's things that i like to do like i can't listen i like to listen to books or whatever i can't listen to my book and run with shade because i gotta be that extra push for her and it's that's okay Mm -hmm. but i know if i want to finish this book then i'll have to pick up another or another run session and that's okay another another thing is for example, even if I am training with her, it's things that I can't particularly say to her because I have to watch the way I say it because, uh, again, we aren't the same. We learn differently. Right. Uh, and another thing I was reading, uh, I'm listening to 50 Cent book, and he was explaining how the power of perception, and he was just talking about how, I think it was Donald Trump. I, somebody said that they wasn't going to um, take any meetings with mm-hmm. women unless his wife was per- present. And 50 was like, you know, I thought it was nothing wrong with that, but his friend broke it down in a way like, nah, that's not cool because make a long story short, when a woman when when a woman meets with a man, even if it's on business, the the change in that kind of like the, when the, a girl go buys a car. Yeah, not even that the, the dynamics change. So like if a woman is meeting with a man that's about business, they can meet about business. Once you introduce a partner into it, yeah. it changes. And it's yeah. not it's not it's yeah. not it's not that you're trying to be sneaky or anything. Yeah. It's just conversations change. Like you might can have a conversation and if I'm there, I might think you flirting or something like that. Yeah. It just changed the dynamics. So even when I when she asked me to go train where this time it's like I don't even want to go because it's like I don't wanna cheat you out of what you're paying for. You get know what I'm saying? Because I don't know, like I'm not let me let's say you your trainer might want to show you how to do something just saying hypothetically right he might want to show you something and if i'm not there he feels more comfortable not that he's being sneaky or Mm -hmm. anything it's just he can put his hands on your back whatever he don't have to feel like he's not trying to trigger me or something like that you know what i'm saying and that's just a part of his job whereas though if i'm there he's probably more cautious Mm -hmm. now he's not doing his job Mm -hmm. as well you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. so like i feel like just that dynamic alone it just you don't have to introduce that and a lot of times in doing everything you put pressure on each other because once you want to stop once you realize it and you want to stop now you do introduce feelings some type yeah. of way like i remember when i told shade shade when i was like i want to run she kind of felt like well you know I, da, 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 you know what i'm saying there's nothing wrong it's just like because we already had that routine now that you're trying to like renege on it it's kind of like i wasn't well, trying to renege i had to work no not like, you i'm saying me like oh, yeah. now that i'm but saying you, said, da, 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 you ain't say the reason yeah i'm so saying now that clear, i want to run I now, work. now that i want to run by myself or whatever it's like well we were running together you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying and that's extra pressure so yeah. if you can just start with doing things separate and just coming yeah. back you know what i'm saying yeah. you don't always have but to do everything together but i do think together. the discussion is necessary because you never broke that down to me when i asked you to come work out with us you never said that i literally so i didn't hear that part so like, what i did say you was you said you, you did say like nah i'm gonna let y'all do that thing that's your session do your thing but you didn't say why though and i do think that is important though because like even though you make 100 percent sense like i get that like nah that makes sense 
But I didn't understand. Like so at that point, I, I didn't understand. And I was I like, said, damn, like you. And so when I came back, sorry, I'm not. No, you know, you're good, you're good. I came back. Jay was like, I'm about to go work out. I was a little offended because I'm like, you would have just came out and work out with me. And I said that to you. He was like, yeah, well, you was doing your own thing. So I was like, damn, like that's a reason why I was like, oh, you be feeling away when I do stuff without you because mm -hmm. I was literally asking you to come with me. So another, but you didn't break it down like another, that. Another. So what I did break it down was I was saying that. Um, so Aaron is my friend. So, like, I asked Aaron to train me before a couple times. I always say he's bullshitting. But, I mean, honestly, money is a big difference. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't kicking out no bread, nigga don't have to do shit. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing to, like, he don't understand. But it has been times where I hit Aaron all the time, like, yo, let's work out. But what I will say is when he, have, when, when he was, like, willing to for me to come to the gym and things, he told me to come to the gym a couple times. But it was time slots where he had clients. And he specifically said, well, you can't come at this time because I have a client. So to me, that's a business, right? So if my girl is paying, she's a client. I don't want to come during that time because like now, like he's like, first of all, she's paying for her. For me to come in, that's cheating. You know what I'm saying? That's my friend. Like that's that's me cheating the business. That's me not me being not me not being in um having integrity to uh, integrity for his business. Cause if you tell me I can't come with any other client, why would I come with my girlfriend just because of my girlfriend? Nah, I don't think that's fair. So that's the real that that was the real reason I said it again. Then I read, I was reading 50 book, listening to 50 book, and that was something that he explained. I'm like, damn, that does make sense. And I was like, that was just a, another part of it. Because again, like, I don't want to be there and make him uncomfortable. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Like, it is, let you do your thing. You paying for that. Do your thing. And I do my thing. And it's yeah. okay. So uh, another point I um, had was when I was thinking about, like, things like church. You know, I have a good friend. And then her and her, her boyfriend, uh he had a separate church she had a separate church and um they were trying to conclude on whose church to go to but then i dawned on me like why i can't just go to your own church like you know what i mean like if you're because like the thing about me when it comes to church i am very particular who the pastor is like i've always been that way like there's churches my mom asked to go with her i just don't i it doesn't resonate with me it doesn't sit with me i don't like you know what i'm saying i don't understand or i'm just not feeling it like what i have to go where I'm comfortable. So, you know, I thought the conversation was, you know, definitely engaging me because I'm like, all right, like on a spiritual level, like, is it okay to go to separate churches? And I personally think it's okay. So I think it's okay. However, like for me, I just think niggas is lazy. Like, yo, and I, I'm sorry, my, my approach be different or like just awkward or not what you, like, I used to, what you don't want to hear. For me, if it's that big of a deal, then you might just have to go to church twice. Like, it's like, it's just that simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to go to each other's church, okay, cool. But if they at Comp the same time? Compromise. Because every church is not doing multiple church services. That's not, uh, every church doesn't do that. No, larger churches can do that. So if, they, if, if they're at the same time, we got to alternate weeks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like okay. we go this week, yeah. every other week we go to each other's church. So yeah. now we're getting twice a month for, yeah. or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, yeah. or you can, again, Put the extra time in. If you really care yeah. that much, people say they care, but they don't really care that yeah. much because if you did, you put the extra time in. So if it's at the same time and you don't want to skip to, okay, yeah. cool. Record it or whatever the case may be. Record yeah. it. You go to church. When you come home, watch yeah. that church. Share notes or whatever the case may yeah. be. Like, it, like if it's that serious, get it done. Yeah. Point blank, period. Yeah. But, yeah. And, um, and, uh, and unless it's going to a whole conversation of, you know, converting over your religions and spirituality that's a whole different conversation mm -hmm. um but when it just you know say we just in terms of you having the same or similar spiritual beliefs and religions of a uh, of a similarity you know what i'm saying i will say i think that's a great way to put it alternate weeks you know you know rotate record you know because you know like for example like i put on church on sunday for my church, but Jay gets down with it. Like he 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 listens and he you know what I'm saying. He watches it. He's came to that church before. Like you know what I'm saying. So I take notes. Yeah, he take notes. Like you know all that good stuff. Like you know what I'm saying. So like I really love that advice. That was great. Um, couple activities is actually a big one too because I know couples like for example, um, uh, I think it's a lot of pressure when like a couple like a a significant other goes to an event without their significant other and somebody's like well where's such and such at <laughs> you know what i'm saying or like why they ain't here and like automatically expect for your spouse to be there and sometimes the other significant other is just not a they're they're a little more introverted they don't like the fuss too much they just want to kick back and chill and like i know that i personally know spouses that kind of wish their significant other was a little more extroverted and then when they go they're fine with it up until they go there and everybody's like well where they at well why she don't want to come or why he don't want to come and now they feeling away 
You know what I'm saying? So I think that's really a big deal because I don't think a lot of people talk about that. Like, talk about the fact, like, they, they, they might get in a relationship, realize that, and just kind of deal with it. But they don't deal with it when they... Yo, bro, just pour it, like... Wow, it's empty. Hmm. <clears throat> Yo, but why turn the cup upside down? I was you trying got... to make sure. You see, see? You see, you see? I was being No, look, look, look. Extra drop right there. You missed it. You missed it. Okay. Look it up. Hey, yo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my bad. So, but all that to say is, you know, like couples do get, like, I think it's a lot of pressure on couples to feel that, like, you know what I'm saying? Especially when they kind of just are trying to accept their significant other for who they are. And then they, right. And then they get into this vicinity. Everybody's like, well, why, why he ain't want to come? Why she ain't want to come? Like. You know what I'm saying? Well, what they don't like us or like what she don't like. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it just be like this thing and I be feeling bad because, you know, I've been around where like, you know, a home, one of my homies don't want to bring in. It's just like, it ain't on me not harm. Like they ain't, they significant other might not going to go or they just wanted to come by themselves. This is they getaway time. They just did three, four things together over the last week. Now they just want to come and hang with the homies without, you know what I'm saying? Just doing their own thing. Um, what do you feel about that? Jai Hill. Oh, I mean, I don't know. Like, I just feel like, yo, we don't gotta do everything together, man. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I got an event, you don't want to come, cool. Mm-hmm. I would like you to come. Mm-hmm. But again, like, honestly, I feel like it's, we put a lot of pressure that don't need to be in it. And yeah. Another thing is, we just not real with ourselves. Like, we, yeah. we, 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 we lie to ourselves because we. We like somebody, and then we find out that we really don't like that, and then now is the issue further along. For example, I mean, I'm sorry, we we transferred on our podcast. I feel like Shade and I like Shade. Well, I don't really know Shade. I don't Shade don't like friendly niggas, but she convinced herself that she liked a friendly nigga. Just being real, right? So like she like like you. Yeah, I mean, you swear I'm friendly, so I'm just trying to be transparent. Like you, I don't him, think him so. Him is a friendly nigga. But so. Uh, it was one point where she would come to the club all the time, but then she would, I would, me, I'm just working. Like, I'm going to continue to work when you're there and when you're not there. Mm-hmm. And then she would get irritated, like, I wonder what he do when I'm not here. Da, da. And then it just put uh-huh. extra attention on our relationship when it's just like, it don't have to be, if that makes yeah. sense. Like, so but it's then like, I also stopped going for a while because, yeah. like, it was kind of the same thing. I was just like, that's where he Fair, works. Yeah. And, like, you know, a part of his job at the club, he's hosting. So he has to, you know, he Host. does little thing. He hosts, like, if that's the umbrella we want to put I mean, that's there. hosting. Like, you know what I'm saying? Depend, like, okay, like when you, that's when somebody your comes style. to your crib that's and you're your hosting, hosting, you make sure they're good. That's, that's the host. your style hosting. That's your style hosting. But that's what a host is? Like, if you yeah, look at it. Yeah, I understand. But there's certain level. I think this can also be debatable to a, to a certain, to what type of host you are. Because, you know, sometimes hosting don't need to have two girls kissing you know, in front of them hosting that was, and kissing. That it doesn't matter, but old, like the, old, you can say it's old, but you bring up old stuff too. So all, all that right. to say is no matter what, it's just. And that Either is way. a part oh, of hosting, oh, okay. though. Okay. Not Whatever. having a girlfriend hosting, though. But honestly, that's okay. a part of hosting because when you're single, your job is to be intriguing. So, like, if I'm posting this on my Instagram, it makes other guys want to be a part of this but experience. But when you're on the mic, yeah, let me see you kissing. Let me see you kissing. Let that's, me see you kissing. Again, I got, it's a part of hosting. Co- I I got it. caught I up when I got a girlfriend because I, I was... I did, I didn't Long story short, all I was saying is I stopped going as much because it was a time like he was cool. Jay was always cool with me coming to the club. Like, so I would come and it was fun. Like, you know what I'm saying? But then towards like us getting more and more serious in a relationship, I stopped coming as much because like, of course, I would see things just as much as he was like, you know, he wouldn't come to my training sessions because you just whatever you see, you can kind of be like, nah, I ain't really feeling that or nah, I don't really like that. And it was things I would say, I'm like, nah, but you know, it might not that he was really doing anything. It's just that your eyes the way it could look or how it may look you don't like it which is why i was like he could go to work by himself i don't gotta be there i ain't going there to watch him try to do nothing like i was really going for fun but if it if this is you know things that consist of his hosting style and things we come i was like nah i could sit it out i could stay home so i started staying home a lot more like you know what i'm saying like or like you know what i mean because it was just it wasn't a necessity anymore to have to invade his workspace like you know what I mean it, that just wasn't it like even if I had to got fun it was like fuck it just go to the club with your friends like fuck it don't have to be da 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 so I think that was a good conclusion on that like no, I, I think was. that was a good conclusion and it actually goes into what I was um, talking about and I kind of don't even want to talk about that uh because I kind of think it's the same mm-hmm. we're talking about like when should you go into business with your partner and when should you or shouldn't you yeah, go into business with um, your partner uh, I think you have You should be able to talk about this Because I think even just reading the book of 50 Cent Shout out to 50 Cent Because we referenced him a lot 
mm-hmm. through this, you know, cycle. So um, I think it's things you can say. What I will say is you got to know your partner. You know what I'm saying? And not the fake bullshit. Like, again, myself included, when I talk about these things, I'm talking about myself. A lot of us, we lie to ourselves. And one of them things is, all right, bet. When you know something isn't like what you want it to be, you try to trick yourself into it being the opposite. When that's just not true, you just got to look look at it, see it for what it is, and then that, that's what it is. Like, you don't have to play play tricks with your mind. But another thing I was about to say is, like, you got to know your partner. So well, it's the same thing. So, like, if you know your partner isn't going to give you what you want out of the business, don't go in business with your partner because that's going to trickle. That's going to roll over into the relationship. And you think it's not, and you don't want it to be, mm-hmm. and you got high hopes for it. But at the end of the day, the shit is written on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the shit is there. It's clipped there plain day you know what i'm saying so it's like unless you know this is what you want you know what i'm saying if, if this is what you want and, and y'all have this perfect dynamic go for it i mean of course but it's, it's another side of it where as though y'all can make it work you know what i'm saying y'all can get uh go from not getting along to getting along in the business like y'all can but you just got to be willing to make that work and it's going to make your relationship harder at times and that just is what it is i mean so I got almost a different outlook on it as well. Um, I think when it comes to your spouse, your significant other, your wife, your husband, whatever, I think, you know, since, you know, whether you're married and it already is a business, um, you're either dating with the purpose to get into that business. You get what I'm saying? And I think that no matter what, like when people say like whether it should or should you shouldn't get into business with a partner, I think you have no choice. Like at that point, because if we're building a foundation, we have to find something that we conclude on that's going to make this family another source of income. Especially if we do want to be those millionaires, those seven sources of income, we do need to conclude on one or two or three. And I do think that a lot of times everybody's interest is not going to align the same because some of these residual incomes is not our passion. It's not our purpose, but it's something that's going to bring us some money. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Or it's something that that could potentially bring us some money or get us the engagement we need to get us this money or put us in the realm to get us this money. So I think that a lot of times uh, some couples do need to let their significant other play whatever role they can play. Because at the end of the day, like I know everybody want a 50-50 a 50, 50 outlook. Sometimes a partner's going to have to carry a certain amount of the weight mm-hmm. because that's just what they carry, especially when it comes to getting some money. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you're just not good at this, you know, or good at this or whatever, somebody's going to have to take on that weight. Like, ah, uh, you know what? You're not good at that. Now, if it's your business, that's your die hard. I don't think anything that you fully love to do and that's your die hard business. No, I feel like, no, I'm talking about secondary, third dairy. What the fuck is the word? Fourth dairy, fifth dairy, try dairy, whatever. No. I think those things are the things you can compromise on. Like, because at those, at that point, this is additional. I get it. This is not like, this shouldn't this is additional this is what concludes us both aligning in our p- separate paths to get close so if we're doing this additionally like this doesn't have to be end all be all because you can't get it this way or you can't get it that way you know what i'm saying so i think people should don't cancel out your partner because they're not as passionate about this because they just might be passionate in their own way about something else but this if this could give y'all a better look or give y'all a better alignment issue to get to that journey to get to where you're going or where y'all trying to go so what like you know what I'm saying? It's okay to me. That's my aspect of it. Because I think that people don't realize, like, when I think every partner, like, to cancel your partner out and say, like, we can't do business together, I think is very fucked up. Why? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because there's something your partner is good at. So as a business person, if you're really a business person, you're going to let them capitalize on what they're good at. So if you're not trying to get into business on with them or, or like work with them on something that's going to shine their light just because they don't work in this avenue, I think it's selfish to cut them off completely because every spouse wants to be like, yeah, I work with my partner, like me and my spouse or my husband, we're, or like we're, we're this, you know, we can, we have a business of some sort. It's not, it don't got to be your Die hard business or the one you're running at Funtry, but second to third to fourth to fifth is something that we so work at. Sometimes people don't have second, third to fourth to fifth. Some people are focused on one. Ain't no, ain't no B plan because my only plan I got is A. So what I will say is I understand what you're saying, but the only business that we have to have is marriage. That's a business, and we should be, uh, we should but be okay with that. business, you have to invest. What are you so investing in if y'all don't, don't agree? So, so again, what I'm saying is like we're investing into this marriage. We're investing into these kids. That's we're not investing the business in, I was we, talking we're about. We're investing it, but that the, ain't the business. But I was this, talking but about. this is business. So what I'm saying is like a lot of times, like business ain't personal. Like you hear that in the when you hear that in the industry multiple times, uh, many I times. Do. So like if it ain't personal, the the last thing I want to do 
is bring my girlfriend or my wife into a business that I'm doing. And but that's what I'm saying. I'm not even talking about that one because here's the thing. Yes, business marriage is a business due to taxes and what you got to pay. But the thing is, if I'm getting married to anyone, yes, we're we're working on another source of income. We do need to get business. I can on. Don't invest bring in me, you. I don't don't have bring to me on nothing. Work with that, you though. But that okay. If you got the money to invest, that's different. That's different. But if we have to work towards something together to build the foundation so we both could get that money, that's a whole different conversation. If support, the money is not I there. I can give you an idea and support it 100% without working with you. Yeah. I can I can be like, babe, you should do this. Okay, cool. I might not well, have the money. I'm going to promote your shit 100 times. I'm going to let you know right now. I expect if we get married, we do have a business because seven, seven in sources of income. But that's, and if me and my husband can't agree on one thing that we have no business being a, that's married because we don't, so, that okay. Don't nothing to if do we can't find one other. commonality that we have to make money off of, y'all, nobody thinks that's a problem. No, hell no. If we don't have one commonality, one commonality we could agree on to make us some money, no. Even if it's a fucking dollar? No. Then what is our purpose? But I don't, we're loving when you, when you, each other. That has nothing yeah, to do with our me, love. Excuse me. Then why do they say that when you are in line with your purpose, you're going to find somebody else that's in line with a purpose so you guys can make a purpose? It doesn't have to be the you same purpose. You guys can purpose. change the world. It doesn't have to be the same purpose, but we should be able to find one commonality that we want to do together to change the world. No, so. right? Can I, can I tell y'all that y'all already doing it because y'all don't this podcast? No, no. I'm not talking about, but I'm talking about in generalized. Yeah, but that's to me, that's a good example. Like the yeah. Of course that I'm doing right now. What you said, the capitalizing off of what you know your partner is good at, that's basically how everybody going to make their income. What I'm saying is, I feel like even if we decided to, to stop this podcast today, we don't have to come in. We don't have to do any other but, business together because we I love each other. I agree with that. I think this, even if we stop this podcast today, if we ain't going in like, babe, you know how to cook, then we need to sell these plates because that's what you good at. I told you, babe, you said, I, I don't want to cook. But I'm not, because we're doing this. It, this is fine. This is what I like. I don't like to cook, but I'm talking about in, in just generality, just generality, in general, right? What I'm saying, if it ain't cooking, it's, it's fucking... I don't know, showing people how to fucking take plant-based products. If it ain't this, if we're not, com oh, if it, you got honest rules here, if we ain't making, doing it, like we have to find something. So what about support something. though? Like, cause it's things that I you think, do that I support Yeah, 100%. I think that's also the same thing. I'm not canceling, okay. I'm not canceling one or the other out. What I'm saying is me personally, I want to get married and I want to have businesses. And I'm not going to have my purpose in every business, but it doesn't mean I can't open up one. And if me and my man can't find a commonality to open up a, a tire shop because it's like, all right, we could do that, or a, a fucking a, a shopping center, then what are we getting married for? That's my personal opinion. God damn, screechy tires uh, and racehorse. No, only reason why I, what you are talking about I, made me think about my parents, right? And uh, so my mom, she wanted to make some extra money. And so she started like selling stuff at flea markets and this guy and the third. So my question was like, my dad, you know, naturally, she, he saw the hustle, saw that she was in love with it. And he goes with, I mean, it's not his, his business, business, yeah. but he goes every Saturday Support. with her and he's there selling yeah. with her, this, that, and the third. Is that the same as... For me, no. Being business in together, it's, or is that just support? It's not the For same me, to me. No. To me, I feel like you could support me on tons of things. You support me while I'm getting a training. You support me while I'm getting my body weight and that. You support what, what I do. Example, but but yours, no. Like, I need both. No? Me personally, okay. I need both. I okay. need you to support me on the things I love to do, and I need us to be able to find a commonality to get into a business with. Because I need seven, I need seven additional incomes. But and if that's you have what it is. three and I have four, that's seven because no, we're together. That's, no. We're bond. No, no. You still need six, and I still need six. Okay. Period. Am I lying? I mean, I, I, don't, I, I, don't, lying? I don't agree with it, but I okay. We can agree like to that, that to me, like that's not what I look. I think if we married, we need seven and seven, fourteen streams of income. Well, I could just agree to this. Or agree. something's outweighing one, or so we only need. <laughs> we don't need much because we have it all. Like you know, what I'm saying, like I don't, I don't really think. Like I think, like I, I personally believe, like. For example, this podcast works because this is what we concluded to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're good at it. You open the door for me to be good at it. And here we are, right? But if it's not this, I think we have to conclude on something else. Like, if it wasn't this, it would have to be something else. Even if one of us is playing the back end, it has to be something else. Like, this would not be, like, this couldn't be the end all. I'm not saying, like, and to me, honestly, to be honest, if you can't do no business with your partner, I don't know. I don't know. 
I mean, I don't I feel know. Like that's just my leave, opinion. I, don't I think know. you should leave the business out because it would just make the know. dynamic so much better. Like you won't have you have less things to worry about. You can but focus I, on your relationship. What, so what is it? Good. Money? Because if it's money, y'all need but to be it's, doing it's it because I need to learn but, how to work with each other with money anyway. But what I'm saying is, I feel like it, it just throws the dynamic off because if you we we are all, we are the hardest part of a relationship is what growing together to me that's the right. hardest part of a relationship because it's already hard to grow on your own individually so when you got the hardest part of a relationship is growing together now you introduce business and money yeah. everybody under everybody knows when it comes to money niggas act crazy so what i'm saying is i got you so what i'm saying is like when you go into business this is your business right I'm and, not talking and, about your business. I know, I'm, I'm talking about saying. When you finding go, a no, business I'm saying. When, you, when you go into business you look at it if you're 50 50 you look at it like yo I feel like we got to do this for this to work. And if you feel like your partner's on some bullshit, guess what? You can, if you try to go to your partner and you let them know and they don't believe it or whatever case be, they don't see eye to eye, it's going to roll over in your relationship. And I just feel like that's unnecessary I like, issues. I feel like, this, I get what you're saying. But I also feel like if today, if we get married, right? And I'm like, bae, I think this business, whatever, and now I'm CEO, I'm going to need a co-founder. I would want to put my husband's name as the no. co-founder, not a friend, not, not, no. I would want to put my husband's name as my co-founder, thank me you. personally. All right, understand. And I'm we not, you can say thank you, no, I'm saying we agree. God willing agree. it's you, but the person, the, the point is, I would want to place my husband as my co-founder Respect. on not my specific business, but a business Respect. in general. I ain't mad at that. What you saying, Monique? All right. That should be one of the first questions. Like, so you looking you to? to go into that business? Not like, go not. into their business. Into I want to make sure you're about business. Yeah. One. Because I can't be about business if you're not. Well, right. Course, like, that's different. Though we can but, be about but, business and not be about the I same think, business. But the thing is, I think it's getting well, tongue tied. I think it's getting twisted. It. Nobody's trying to join. I'm not talking about somebody joining your purposeful business. What if I don't want to add another bit? What about what if I'm good with the one lie. business I got and I, I, I don't want to go I, into no other lie business? Because if that was the case, Jay, you already like for example, you have four different type of series you'd be working on all the time. You got no ghost writer, you got live miss uh live with Jay Hill, um excuse me, uh get it straight with Jay Hill. You've had the, so you're not just focused on one thing either. I don't think no like to me, niggas who bought my, not niggas, people Who's about money? No, you have to go different. Like, you're figuring it out. So nobody's saying, like, if all I do is hair and I don't want to do nothing else, I'm not saying bring your husband on hair, but you might do hair and your husband does a barbershop. Why not open up a, a multi, a joint salon is what I'm trying to say. There's nothing wrong with that. And even if they want to go separate, why don't they have joint products that they're selling at one point at one hub? Like, okay, we, I got my hair salon, you got your barber salon, but you know what? Let's get a hair product line and we're going to put both of our products in Respect. this one line. Not That's definitely. what I'm trying Understand. to say. Understand. Like it's, it's a branch off. It's a tree. Like, and all I'm saying is I need to be able to, me and my husband need to go agree on something because we got to run this tree. We're going to agree on this house. We're going to agree on <laughs> Go ahead. But that's, that's subsequent from the money you're making. Do you feel like for you all to be able to get in the business with it, like you have to be uh, sustainable yourself first, or can you? Like, yes. How do you feel the approach? Should yes, be? I think you need to be sustainable by yourself, and it don't even if, even whether you work in, you got your own business. I think you have to be able to sustain yourself, or it's not going to work anyway. Like definitely sustainable yourself. No, nah, that was good, man. I think we can agree to disagree on that one. Let's keep it moving. All right, uh, mom. Ah. I always got to use the bathroom after I drink all this. Yeah, never let me leave. Okay, come on. Maybe this will let me not go. They said that. Wait, hold on. Yeah, hold on. I really have to use the bathroom because I've been, no, I've been drinking a lot of water, like half a gallon a day. I'll be right back. Sorry. First for everything. Jay, talk to the people. (laughs) (laughs) Talk talk to the people. This is an interlude. This is a, this is a first Gemini Scorpio podcast. First. (laughs) Uh, oh, interlude with uh, Alex and Jay Hill. So we're gonna unpack the Fifty Cent book for uh, yeah. our listeners. Yeah, Jay Hill is how many chapters in? Uh, I am how many chapters? Let me go to it. Let me go to it. I am. You keep talking about this one chapter that you really love. It's the last one. Oh. <laughs> the last chapter. I think I'm. I'm not at the last chapter. I'm almost, and I don't know why it's not showing me. Um, what the hell? Let me see. I'm at. If we can't be friends, oh, chapter seven. I love that chapter too. That chapter is so great. Yeah, if we can't. Be but friends. um, yeah, I I feel like for me that book and we talked about it 
mm-hmm. separately. But for me, I feel like the book has been very like life changing. It's mm-hmm. definitely been uh, like I told you. That's my spirit animal. It, mm-hmm. it, it confirmed how I think, but it also made me realize that like. I don't have to lower my expectations. I shouldn't lower my expectations for yeah. other people. And it made me uh, more comfortable in being myself and accepting that I was different. So for people that haven't gotten the book, I definitely check it out. For me, I think um, it's called Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter. For me, it, it. so usually when I read books and I listen to like inspirational people, it's like confirmation, right? right. This book, was the. it wasn't confirmation. It was, it was one of the few books or a few times that I had to look at myself in the mirror and say, you need to do more. Because mm-hmm. like on this book, it's like, well, do this, do that. And I'm like, damn, I'm not doing that. But a lot of times, just being honest, it's like, I don't think I'm doing these things because I don't think the people around me could handle if I was like that. But is that? People is... around you like, who, your girl? No, I'm just. No, um, no. You came that... to the tail end. <laughs> she... I'm talking about just like period when it comes to, yeah, even that. Like, and that's another reason why I don't think you need to go in business with your your, 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 your spouse or your partner because a lot of times, like, you're, y'all are different and that's okay. I can love you. So, what you. about if you want, you don't want to and your partner wants to? If I think if that's the case, then. And I'm not talking about a sp- no, I'm not talking about your partner wanting to come in on your business. I'm like, your partner is like, we need a and business. And that's what I said. Don't want to. And that's what I said. And this is, I mean, it's not sad, but this is the truth. In the beginning, if, if Sade don't like the church that we're going to, we're going to the church that Sade wants to go to because- Happy wife, they, happy life. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and I mean, that's just, it, it is what it is. So it's like, if she want to go into business, then I'm going to have to create a business that we can go into. And I just don't care that much about because I'm going to have to find well, a way I, to make my wife- I think that's where the uh, argument can alleviate. Because nobody said you had it. To me, if we get money and we get another business, who cares? As long as a business is up and so, running for more money. So like, what if, what if I ask you? So it's easy to say who cares because I can say I can accommodate you. I can I can I can put my pride to the side and I can be like, you know what? Well, I'll just get a business that I don't care about. I'm, why why can't it be? You know what? If my man don't want to go in business, can I accept that? Can I just let that rock? You know what I'm saying? But I didn't again, say I'm, it couldn't. What I'm saying is. I was just saying what I want. Right. That's all I said. I didn't say they couldn't rock. Whatever rock for one person rocks. What I'm saying, and that's just a conversation we would have to have going forward. Mm -hmm. And now we know we have to have another conversation because to me, what I'm saying was I would want not my main business, not my purposeful journey, not what God has designed me here to do. But along that journey, once I am married, I do expect me and my husband to agree on a commonality that we can make money on and that makes yes. sense and i get it one time one second yo can you do me a favor um put that one on that and just do a little manual it's about to die it's done can you... oh i thought you said it was done oh i might say if it does just put that one on that and just have to do a manual all right yeah so right. we're not Monique. all right so i just had a quick question yeah so you know how um a lot of Males that have a lot of money, they have a lot of problems when it comes to if they have a child with somebody and it's a girl and they don't go as far, right? So do you think that if they did present the business before having the kids, do you think that it would be different with their relationship? Wait, say that again. Like because you know how saying? you know how sometimes like when people have kids, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, the rappers or celebrities or whatever, yeah. they have a lot of money, right? So... They already got their self-established. You know, just how you said everybody got had their self-established. Right. So because they already got their self-established, they got people that come no, after like, I'm them. Pregnant. I'm and pregnant. they have kids yeah. and they have... I'm, do you think that if they presented the business thing before that, like, it would throw a, it would throw a loophole? What type and they of wouldn't, business thing? Like, what are you saying? Like, saying? like how y'all saying, like, getting business together or just seeing the person's business aspect in, instead of... Like, do you think that that would... Alleviate, yeah, problem? alleviate some problems. I feel like what will alleviate it. Problems. I feel like what will alleviate it. When niggas stop trying getting bitches pregnant or fucking bitches that they have no fucking desire to have anything with. There you mm-hmm. go. That that's what I think what would alleviate the problem. Um, I think no, like Jay said, I think that would complicate the problem because now it's like girls have I, oh he won or he doing it or, and, and you know it, it just what it is what it is girls sometimes are a little shallow and they looking at what it you know what I'm saying what can come what cannot come you know what I'm saying now they painting a picture don't let them paint no fucking picture like I'm talking about this is for if you were in a relationship like it ain't for like the people you just fucking that you ain't got no foundation it ain't for people who just you know what I'm saying going with the flow this is real relationship shit like real 
you know what I'm saying, working towards marriage or married stuff. Like, you know what I mean? I just wanted to say that because I be seeing people doing it. So. No, no yeah, no, facts. Let's, I agree. Let's, let's get into this accent challenge that Shade got in the pot, man. Yes. We doing an accent challenge. Sir. I don't got no more All right, liquor. Yeah, so the name of the game is the accent challenge, right? So how it's going to work out is I'm going to list the, the location and then a few words. And you Can, have to say the word in the <laughs> accent. From Can the you at least play a clip of somebody? No, no. that's I original. don't know. No, do, right. you don't know no accents. You've been to college and everything. You don't no, know no, no accents. That makes it even better. All right, come on. Because come I want to hear what? what you think. Right, what do you think? Exactly. Like, <laughs> thank you. All right, so the first one is a London accent. And we need. I need you to say <laughs> eyebrows <laughs> in a London accent. <laughs> Go ahead, you no, first. you <laughs> first. This is my segment. You first. Ladies first. This is your segment. No, because then you won't get the idea from me. Um, <laughs> that's Australian shit. <laughs> Australians what? be like, hey, Mike, right? Yo, said it's- <laughs> that's Australian. Uh, and then London, he London? went from London to Australia. Yeah, because I, I don't know, like, know. London talk like. Just it. give me an example. Say it. It's eyebrows in a London accent, <laughs> or a UK accent. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I <laughs> eyebrows. I don't know. Like, I have no clue. Like, I have no. I like an eyebrow. <laughs> that's Australian. <laughs> that's what I was. I thought that's Wait, Australian. That's, hey, no. my name is the Austra- I mean, eyebrow. Like, I thought that was like Australian. Next one, Alex. Isn't that Australian? Like, all, right, all right, all right. Come all right, on, Jay. All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> the next act. The next one is a New York nigga. <laughs> you gotta say watermelon. <laughs> I'm like I can't say nothing without 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 saying sun. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I, was like, I gotta say I got mad to add on. But I gotta I'm say sun. Like, right, say put it in sentences. Like yo, son, you need some watermelon. Like, <laughs> like, like yo, son, I need some watermelon. Yo, I need some watermelon bozo. <laughs> I need some watermelon sun. bozo. Uh, I need some watermelon like. Yo, Dang, son, like, that's mad watermelon bozo. Like, like, like yo, you like, hey. dead ass serious bozo. That's watermelon. Like, <laughs> like, yo, pause, son. Like, you got all them season that watermelon. You, 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 you season your watermelon. Hey, yo, pause that. <laughs> what? A, that's watermelon bozo. You mad dumb for that bozo? All right, <laughs> all right. Here you go. Uh, the next one is <laughs> a French person saying bacon. <laughs> French. Shit. I got mine. I was supposed to speak. I got mine. Uh <laughs> Like like some je n'ai pas je n'ai pas <laughs> français français pecan. <laughs> I think so I will get the book on. <laughs> book Bacon. on. Bacon. Bacon. All right, all right, all right. We're going to do one more. Let's do one more. Give uh, us a good one, Alex. <laughs> Jay. No, don't wild it. <laughs> Not two more. Because this one, Jay, you all better. Right. All right, boom. <laughs> a Baltimore, yo. <laughs> Saying stupid. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> stupid ass, dummy. <laughs> hey, dummy, get the fuck out of here with your stupid ass, <laughs> dumb ass. Get the fuck out of here, stupid. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, stupid. I'm dead. I gotta do it too. Yeah. Stupid ass, dumb ass, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, stupid ass, ass dumb ass. Dummy. Look at this stupid ass dummy. Just just switch it. You just put it on there. Yeah. You can just <laughs> stupid take ass it off. dummy. And then the last one is. <laughs> What's the last one? A Dominican person. Mommy and Poppy said, I love you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love you, Poppy. I love you, Poppy Chulo. I love you so much, Poppy. Yeah, mommy. Mommy. <laughs> hey, mommy. Oh, Poppy, I love you, Poppy. <laughs> Hey, mama, I love you. <laughs> me love you. And me love you. <laughs> oh, wait. How you say it? Like, te amo, papi. Te, te, am, te, te amo, amo, papi. Mama, te amo. <laughs> te amo. 
this shit is ignorant. Why we <laughs> this shit gonna get us canceled. Right? I know, right? <laughs> canceled the fuck. Why the fuck did we choose to do this shit? Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. They asked for the accent challenge. They we delivered. The accent challenge, dude. They got it. All right, babe. What you got? Oh, my God. What's your shit? What's your shit? Uh, so, I was going to ask you, but nah, so. Damn, did I want to get back serious or are we going to keep it? All right, so if you could have an unlimited supply of anything in the world except for money, what would it be and why? Love. Nah, fuck that. No, 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 no. If you could have, <laughs> if you could have an unlimited, it got to be tangible thing. A tangible thing? Unlimited yeah, supply. Yeah, put it in the middle. Put it in the middle. Definitely not tissue because niggas wild that I use the washcloth for baby wipes. So mm. niggas think it's tissue. That's not for me. Unlimited supply. Clean water. Mm, good. Unlimited Clean su- water. If I could have an unlimited supply of anything in this world. <sighs> Damn. You kinda, say it can't be money. I kind of want to say pussy, but I ain't going to say pussy because I got you. I got you. I don't need unlimited pussy because I got you. I already got unlimited. Uh, unlimited supply of... No, you don't. Even with me, my box has a cycle. The fuck? unlimited all right if i had unlimited supply if i had to have unlimited supply of anything it would be god damn hmm groceries 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 <laughs> what? what accent is that it's a baltimore <laughs> yo groceries 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 Gro- groceries <laughs> Wait, now I don't even know Groceries. Grocery. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, what the fuck? What did he say? Groceries. No, don't say nothing else. Alex, how do you say it? Groceries. groceries. How do you say it, Monique? Groceries. groceries. She said it, groceries. No, she said groceries. <laughs> right. Groceries. Like it's gro- groceries, gro- not groceries. Gro- it, Jay's groceries. saying groceries. 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 Yes, groceries. Like Gros- a grow series. He's playing grow and series together. No, groceries. 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 That's the accent shot I want an unlimited hey, act, yo. unlimited supply of food. God damn. All right. Shit. Food and water. I love yeah. it. We would be good in food. Water. What? Oh. We go Clutch. to Matter of fact, you could just uh, do the uh, what's the name too? The um, you could just do one and one mm-hmm. if you want. Um, so boom, trending topics. We here. Oh, it's a lot. We already. We got probably gotta pick in. one. God damn. Which one you want to pick? We only gonna pick one. Let's see. What's some? Uh, oh, that's true. It's a lot. I don't know. I don't want to pick. It's good Sorry. ones. All right, we'll just start with Boosie. Boosie says, let his sons get head from grown women. Let kids be kids. That ain't been oh, kids. Shit. Oh, about no, shit. I, no, I, I, no, no, no. I read, I'm sorry. Look, skirt. <laughs> Boosie says, let his sons get head from grown women. Per. That's what he said. Let his sons get his head. Get, get his head. head. Get head. What the fuck is going on? What accents now? <laughs> Let his sons get head by grown as women because it's going to show they what? Not gay. I'm sorry. That's just an ignorant ass way of Very thinking. Ignorant. Like, I fuck with you, Boosie, but. Honestly, though, so the thing about it is people got to be careful because me, I'm the type of person, you say something, it could turn me completely off. This is one of those things. I've always been for Boosie, even his ignorance on the Kappa shit, even his ignorance just being, you know, just ignorant. But this, he kind of completely lost me. Yeah. This was very ignorant. And I'm sorry. I know it's quarantine, but niggas need to fucking think before they before speak. Before they speak. Because this was the dumbest thing I think you could have said, not only on your live as a celebrity, in but in public. Because, like, and it's crazy because it's like, it's almost like, well, these things are getting said in public because this is how people view it. Yes. But it's also because you need to think about what you even are saying that you even care about, right? <coughs> Your sons getting head by grown women is statutory rape. Well, statutory rape. Stat- statutory. Statutory rape. St- what the fuck? Status, statutory. Statutory rape. Not statutory. That's what you said. You're saying statutory. That's what you said. You said statutory. He said statutory. That's what I'm saying. You said that. Statutory. 
It's right. A, it's a bad day. It's just, that's just a, a, that's pronunciation today. What the fuck? Fu- we're never, we're never doing accent challenges again. This shit, fuck all my whole regular fucking verbiage up. God damn, I'm tongue tied in a motherfucker. I'm talking French and. You know what I'm saying? London and all this shit together. Baltimore yo's, New York niggas. Just like, whoa. So long story short, yeah, like on some serious tip, I really don't fuck with it. Like, honestly, I think little boys have already been robbed of so much of why black men even are failing to this day because they already couldn't be kids from their childhood years. And here you are in 2020 still encouraging the same behavior. It's like, when do these fucking general... When do these fucking general curses end? Like, it's not okay. It's Generational. Not okay. What did I say? General. General. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sorry. Generational curses end. Like, yo, this shit is sad. Honestly, it makes me sad. Because to think about... A 12-year-old boy being locked in a room because their father wants to make sure they're not gay. <coughs> a woman, lumptuous, coming in. That's intimidating as fuck, one. Lumptuous. Lumptuous. Titties fully developed. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is a grown woman we're talking about. Fully developed woman coming in while you're in a room. It's intimidating. You don't know your own hormones. You don't know your own stamina. You don't know nothing. Like, you don't know nothing for you to experience your first sexual course out of just your own natural hormonal instinct. I think that is so, oh my God, it just makes me feel icky. I don't like Yeah, it. nah, what I will say I is, like man, it. we do, we definitely gotta, uh, we definitely gotta break these generational uh, curses. And for Boosie to say that, if that's what you do, let that be what you do, because now, <laughs> What people don't understand is people take a, people dump down their celebrities so much. And we understand quarantine is going on. But like I said, before this whole quarantine thing happened, as we was going into it in March, I was like, yo, we about to see a lot of niggas, a lot of people, a lot of corny niggas, you know what I'm saying? That don't be one of them. And I felt like Boosie let himself fall into that corny nigga trap. Not saying he is, because what I will say is, let's not act like we stupid. Like, let's not, let's not act like this is a, isn't a normal. Like, is it a, is, isn't a norm? And Wait, it is. Do you know somebody who's personally let their son do that? Personally. Now, what I will say, but as a man, I'm not about to lie and say, at 12 years old, that's what I wanted to do. So, yeah. honestly, he's just probably embracing it. Like, yeah. he probably just like, yo, you know what? That's my son. If that's what he's going to do, at least I'm there. Just like we talk, had a conversation about smoking. We can't, we can't be there to judge. However... Because you are a celebrity, you can't push that agenda. And even though you don't think you're pushing that agenda, well, I don't you know if he, if, he think, if he thinks he's pushing it or not. You Once are. you put this on Instagram, people then who are supporters of you think that's okay. And you never, and, and honestly, I mean, I don't want to say it's sad, but the parents are just getting younger and younger. So when you post these things on Instagram, what happens is these you got somebody that, that looks up to you and be like, you know what? Well, Boosie do it. I'm going I'm to do right. it when that's just not cool. And you know what I'm saying? You just got to be careful, man. You got to just know when to say things and when not to say things. If that's what you do, do that on your thing. I'm not, I don't think it's cool. You know what I'm saying? However, if that's what you want to do, I can't change your mind. You're a grown, I can't change your mind. You're a grown ass man. But don't post that on your social media to make it seem like it's cool for everybody else to do. Because nah, because you, you know what you're not going to do? You ain't going to let a grown ass man eat your 12 year old daughter box. You ain't going to do that shit. But you and now that's another conversation because now we're talking about gender roles and we're talking about um Me double standards, double you know what I'm saying? And it's like that's just not cool because they're right. children. They can't if if but if, right. if 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 you think that Dwayne Wade son can't isn't old enough to make up his mind to be a, a woman, then what makes you think a 12 year old boy is grown enough to make up his mind to get hit from a grown ass woman? No, it's the same thing. Like, no, nah, it's not cool. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it, it shouldn't be cool. And we shouldn't be pushing this agenda because honestly, it's whack. We grown ass men. You know what I'm saying? Nasty. Yeah. And, and then you wonder why people look at us, how they look at us. You like wonder savages, why we, like yeah, dogs, we talking like... about, we talked about adultification not too long ago. We wonder why, not just in women, why people, uh, look at black people, b- women and men, older than what they are, because we're out here doing these things at twelve years old. We don't have a childhood. We we don't have no childhood because we our parents are forcing us to be grown. When we, even even when we not in a situation. That's the whole point I took you. What I told you, 
You told me what? I was talking. You just took my whole little point. My bad. Go ahead. You ain't, you ain't say nothing. Because I was letting you talk. But you you just went <coughs> my whole little point. Go ahead. Finish. I'm just saying, like, yo, it's already hard enough that we got so many issues to, to, to worry about. Don't bring, don't add to it, man. Like, and especially you, Boosie, you came from the trenches, nigga. We, this is why we love you because we saw it. You know what I'm saying? So to force, even like you didn't have a childhood the way you wanted to because you was forced to grow up. Now you're forcing your child to grow up. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't the same. It ain't drugs. They don't have the need or want for anything, but it's the, it's the same on another end of the spectrum. You're forcing them to, to be grown because these are grown up activities. My guy, like I get it. It seemed cool, but it's not. I'm sorry. I never really have opinions on things because I really don't care. But this, bro, like you're a grown ass man, bro. And I and because I have so much love for Boosie, it's like, come on, bro. You can't go out. Like, what what is your friends, my nigga? Like, who is that to say, yo, this ain't cool? Like, cause it's not. Like, that's not cool. Like, I, I would hope my if I said some dumb ass shit like that out of my mouth, my friends would call me ASAP, like, yo, you want some dumb shit. Yeah, Jay Cohen took my point. But my bad, it. I'm sorry. I'm just passionate say is, about that. Like, that I was, was gonna white. say, people like between D Wade and Boosie, I equally don't think either one of them right. If y'all don't let these motherfucking kids be kids, like I'm tired of hearing how oh my 12 year old son wants to have sex, so I'm gonna give him a grown woman. Oh my 12 year old son wants to be a girl, so I'm gonna let him. Yo, let these kids be kids. What about finding the things they like to do? What about finding the things that has nothing to do with sexual preference and sexuality. Why is everything you're doing with your kids surrounded by sex? It's sad. We're the problem. Adults are the problem. And I don't mean me. I mean, as a whole, adults are the problem. Entertaining it or being acting on it, it, it it's, it's just not okay. Let these kids be kids. Like, let's go hiking. Let's go bike riding. Let's go camping. Let's explore the country. Let's go look at things that is going to broaden your mind so big, especially as celebrities. You have the will to let your kids experience experiences. Give them experiences. Why are we just talking about everything that revolves around sex? Because just like money, sex runs the world. And it's so tiresome to even see how these celebrities with these big voices are doing these things. It's like, this is not creating change. It's creating problematic situations because what about all the 12 and 13 year olds that follow Boosie? The 12 year old little boy like, damn, maybe I need to get hit by a grown ass woman that, that's confused, that doesn't know what he, you know, what he likes yet. You know what I'm saying? That goes to his neighbor house who's been nice to him and accidentally rapes her now. How did he, I didn't watch the live, so what was his exact words like how did this come about with he, uh he i mean he just kind of said it to be honest he kind of just was like i mean uh what he said nah uh what he honestly said? it sounded like it was a rebuttal from the d-way yeah it, it, it was, was a rebuttal like, it was like like nah yeah I mean, my, my little, yeah like, like, like it was like it but what i can say is i know a lot of males like yeah like when i was young like old and they say it was 10 yeah yeah but the thing is a lot of that's that's what i want to say a lot of the a lot of the problem that lies in the society today is about too soon being in these lights of sexuality and all of it having to do with adults introducing these kids now when y'all look at people like r kelly and Hmm. wonder why r kelly also was raped by his older sister that why he's now touching his nieces, his nephews, and other little girls. Th- that's what Can- you guys are creating. Because once you show your son that, oh, my dad is with this. Now, what y'all going to tell your nieces and nephews when they get older and now they touching on them because y'all done introduced them at a young age and they think it's okay? Let's listen to it. What are y'all going to tell him? Let's, uh, let's, hit, let's take a listen. Shit is crazy. I don't even want to talk about it no more. It's... Training them boys. Super grown. Let me tell you something right now. They're so, rapists in the what trenches. I will say is that's like, what people are not saying. Like niggas, like that's what they do with the trenches. Rapists and pedophiles 
explore and thrive in the trenches because they have the accessibility. Just because niggas is like, I'm tired of hearing that. Like, oh, niggas is in the trenches. That's why they act like this. Bro, it's fucking in the trenches because it's accessible and it's allowed in the trenches because nobody's protecting them. Nobody's looking after them. Nobody's paying attention. Nobody cares about all the little boys and the little girls who are raped and pedophiles. Like, nobody cares about that. That's why it's happening in the trenches. And Boosie, as a grown-ass man to obtain success out of the trenches, I'm disgusted. Like, even rehearing that, that just really made me mad on another count, too, of just the fact that you're saying this so proud. Are you proud? Like, I couldn't imagine being a mother in the other room. Yeah, I'm letting my son get his dick sucked right now by the grown, full grown, full, full blown grown ass woman. First of all, let me tell you something. If I find out a grown ass woman suck my son dick, I'm going to beat her ass like I'm her daddy. Fuck a grown ass woman. I'm her daddy. I'm, I'm beating her ass like I'm her fucking father. You hear what I'm saying? Like, that ain't cool. Nah, what I, what I was going to say is like, it's a sad truth, but these things have happened. Like, I remember yeah. a time where, like, I was playing football. I was on the football team, and my coaches, you know what I'm saying, like, they had a chick come through, and we ran the train on it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, That's not it's just okay. like, it's not, it's not cool. Not but okay. what I will say is I'm not about to sit up here and judge him as if it never happened. Let what I will you. say is, though. If as, we don't judge, it's going to continue No, to no, no. Okay. I'm not about to sit up here and judge I'm this man. It. As if it never happened because that would make me a hypocrite. No, what I, I know it happened, but I'm judging him as a characteristic flaw, okay. not because it has happened before. Again, I'm you not. You know it's happened. Are you doing it? Listen, I'm telling you my truth. I'm not about to judge this man. You can do whatever you want. I'm not about to judge this man because I'd have seen it happen before. I even been a part of it sometimes. However, what I'm saying is a part of what exactly? Be yo, careful when you say that. I said it. Like I Why said it, attitude? but I'm, no, I'm, I'm just saying, be I'm careful saying, when you're saying no. that been a part of what? I literally I'm sorry, just I said, got a kid. You got to be clear. I like li- when you I, said been a part of what? I literally just said that I remember being a part of a football team. My coach had us indulge in some shit like that. So what I'm saying is I'm not about to sit up here and act like it never has happened before. Yes. But when you know better, you do better. And to his <clears> defense, <throat> maybe he just don't know better. However, what I'm saying is to his circle. They need to be checking him because as a grown man, I can understand that the things I did as a boy, I'm not doing now as a man because it's not cool. And I will never have my son, my daughter, or anybody that I'm associated with do anything like that. But but again, I know better. So I'm not but I'm not taking it easy on him. However, what I'm saying is like as a grown ass man, you got some self-reflecting to do. You should look at yourself in the mirror. You should understand that, like, you know what, yo? It's different from your son experiencing something on his own he come to you and y'all have that conversation you don't judge your son and you sit down and y'all have that conversation you have an understanding that's not that's not what you're saying even if that was the case that's not you're saying that like yeah i had these girls do this to my son and honestly bro it's just not cool you know what i'm saying like it ain't cool and i feel like we gotta hold ourselves accountable as men period like like this don't have nothing to do with no woman it's about as men we know what we want what we experienced and we know what was right from wrong and coming up we shouldn't have like these generational curses we shouldn't have our kids and the people after us going through the same doing the same dumb shit that we did because that's not going to make it better how do we now you do that to your 12 year old he he turns 13 and 14 now he have an expectation that every grown woman should do this because his 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 father has done this now your son make a mistake and now he gets arrested for some shit that you introduce like some things just ain't worth it my guy like okay. that's just my my opinion like i said i'm sorry for the people that didn't show up for boosie and his sons but i'm here to talk for the people who's going to show up for the boys that i know for the little boys my nephews for all those people that shit is nasty if i find out you're even a part of it or even to, i'm definitely going to call the cops i'm also going to be an advocate for those people who don't have a voice because that shit is dead ass wrong and the thing is there is not enough men holding him accountable the fact that he's still on live acting like shit is normal is not okay the fact that he's moving on his life yes that is his household yes that but protect his boys too because we don't even know if his boys liked it no, what if his boys didn't even like it but he's doing it because that's what his dad did to, said to do we don't know none of this this shit is a psychological defect like niggas gotta stop sleeping wake the fuck up like 
That shit is not okay. And now if it was talking about a little girl, we'd be holding a different story. You know why? Because people don't protect little boys like they protect little girls. Let's talk about it. That's a fact. Like little boys are just as valuable as little girls. They lose their innocence the same way that little girls lose their innocence. Just because they're boys and then they should be like, take that stigma off of little boys. Hug your boys, bro. Kiss your son on the cheek, bro. Hug your sons, bro. Like this is the same way. These, these are the things that turn them into nurturing husbands and nurturing fathers and fathers who care. Not this shit. Shit, this shit don't turn them into no nurturers. You absolutely right. This don't turn them into no nurturers. This actually turns them into womanizers and, and narcissists and these things that damage more little girls out here. You're not showing them how to be good dads and good parents and good husbands and good men. Period. And good men. This is not that. Like, why is the focus on sex? Are you taking them outside? How to show them how to do things that men can do? Like, no, you're out. And I'm not saying that he's not a good father because we've all seen Boosie birth his you know be with his kids and the fun dad but i'm talking about real live men shit you talking about sex is real live men shit and half the men don't even know how to deal with their own emotions their aggression their feminine aspects that we all carry like come on son this shit is for the birds like i don't nah, want to talk about this shit no more because i could go on and on on You're how right, i feel though. about this shit this shit is not okay i'm never going to fucking ex like Ever. Like, I don't give a fuck if I'm in a man. You could argue me down. We might even fight because I'm going to tell you, if you say to me, I know there's differences, opinions, I'm sorry, but this is one of those things. If you're like, well, I know, like, fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. Nah, go you're find right. God and go find yourself. That's what I would tell you. You got to raise great points, man. Uh, that was episode 25. Damn, hour and 30 minutes. Episode 25. The Gemini Scope of your podcast, Mr. J Hill. Rudolph, you already know, man. Now let's get off, man. Oh, Is it gone? Mm. I think I sucked a booger out of your nose. Ew. Oh, it's all gone. <laughs> Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 25, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all hit the uh, notification button. And Classy, yeah. bougie. Shit. We out. Savage, moody, ah. I, think I, I got sweat in my tongue. Ugh. You got no sweat. It's makeup, boy. Ew. You just suck.